Naciones Unidas y otros organismos internacionales, señores embajadores, delegados de la COP, señoras y señores, buenas tardes, bonjour, good afternoon. Constituye un especial honor saludarles con ocasión del Global Landscape Forum número 2, en nombre del director general de la FAO, el doctor José Graciano da Silva, quien hubiese deseado dirigirse a ustedes, pero que debido a la celebración del Consejo de la FAO hasta bien entrada la noche de ayer en Roma, no le ha sido posible. Es un honor, honor poder compartir esta ceremonia de apertura. The UK aid and Norway aid, and through the carbon offset programs, we have been trying to make sure that this event is carbon neutral. Well, this will be a year that's going to be important this year. The General Assembly of the UN will have to pass the information over on sustainable development. It's very important that the agriculture, forests, mountains, food, rural development, and climate change, and those involved, which this event is about, should be included in all the SDGs of the floral future so that they can really potentiate them, uh, themselves and, and overcome these con high constraints. In 2015, also, we will be celebrating the International Soil Year after the Hugo Framework of Disaster Risk. After Beijing plus 20, and let me remind you, as the General Commissioner for the UN, that this uh, event is an excellent opportunity to disseminate the main challenges and opportunities which enable us to r achieve food security for all the planet's citizens in the shortest possible time and in a sustainable, sustainable manner. The United Nations will be present in Milan Expo in the challenge launched by the General Secretary in the Rio Plus 20 event. Finally, the South Africa and the FAO is going to have the 14th forest uh, conference, which will be the largest forest event in the world, and it will in, in be held in the African continent, and you are cordially invited to both events. Humanity is facing crucial challenges like food security and nutrition, the fight against poverty, climate change, and energy. And today there are 800 million people who are suffering from chronic malnutrition, 1 billion in extreme poverty, particularly in rural areas, and many people without energy and water and sanitation, education, health a decent home and decent job, and all of this has to be provided sustainably so that people 
the, the planet's life can be maintained, including the prevention of natural disasters. And to do so, the forests are uh, to this forests are key. This forum has a, folk, an, a main approach, which is a shared vision, recognizing the considerable intrinsical links between agriculture, forests, and, and mountains. The territorial approach and, and uh, has been described as landscapes because there's a, a double meaning for this in English. Uh, but it, it means the management of watersheds. Uh, we have to recognize the denomination of the, for, the name of forests for Francophone languages. Overcoming the sector barriers of soil use uh, allows us to get scale economies of scale uh, and find synergies to build new partners. We could mention as an example of this the rest forest restoration, agroforestry, the silver f pastoral efforts and fishing and pollinization initiatives. Looking to the ahead, we have to take more note of the issue of water in this context. In this new care paradigm, we have to look at the rural population and their legitimate aspirations for human development in the center of all the attention that are brought, is brought together by the various sectors. But we also have good news. We are going in the right direction. During the recent conference on nutrition in the FAO headquarters in Rome a few weeks ago, the world leaders agreed to establish national policies which would be able to eradicate malnutrition and bad food chains so that there would be good uh, nutrition and at affordable rates. And also, looking at the planet's limits, this, this was a, a special key for the message of, and the Pope has also spoken on this. As uh, Rio Plus 20 insisted, we have to remember the three pillars of sustainability and cannot separate them. It was remembered that we have to remember the interrelation between food, health, and, and health. Uh, and while people are beginning to understand the dependence of health and environmental conditions, and especially in terms of air and water, where the population needs to have the peri urban forests. With climate smart agriculture, we have to optimize agriculture in, with, as one of the main challenges in the future, particularly in the face of climate change in terms of adaptation and mitigation. And we also have to improve production and income, particularly of smallholders. And the, the Global Alliance of Agriculture and smart, Climate Smart Agriculture mentioned by the General Secretary of the UN last September has to be a support platform for actions in this field. The Red pl Plus is one of the most immediate challenges as it, it, could have, it could provide real benefits. We know that countries are making great progress here with the support of numbers, num numerous partners including UN, the UNDP, the UNEP, and the FAR, and the Forest Carbon Partnership Facility of the World Bank. And a growing number of countries have pledged to restore great extensions in the framework of the Bone Challenge, uh, as the FAR has also said in the Forest Landscape Restoration Mechanism, it will help the countries to restore their forests. We also want to mention in this context the global sort of partnership, the forest farm facility, and the, the rest of the FAO's instances. The rural areas and the activities, related activities, are also a source of the renewable materials of the biological origin, like wood, bamboo, and fiber, which will enable us to 
have more green economies and low carbon economies thanks to the, 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 the use of them as in substitution. The reduction of use of chemicals will also open up new opportunities to diversify and improve the conditions of life of the rural population, favor uh, entrepreneurship, and help people to use subproducts, byproducts, and produce food to achieve sustainability. To reach the change in paradigm, we have to address the science and technology and the concepts as well, with the objective of achieving to rural areas which are more resilient, capable of protecting us from catastrophes, effective in the use of resources and productive in terms of goods and services, while we ensure rural development which is both inclusive and respects the surroundings. All stakeholders should be involved. The example of the Food Security Committee of the FAO can inspire us, inspire us here. The individual initiatives offer a way forward which is crucial for the rural world. Urbanization all over the con uh, in all the continents mustn't believe in the mirage that the modern world does not depend on rural life. Modern life's challenges f f require territories and resources and the, needs the traditional knowledge of the rural areas much more than before. And if we are going to have a good response, then we ask this f forum t in the name of the FAO to do its work as well as possible today. And I'm very grateful to you for having come today. Thank you.